Hello, BookTube. This is bookshelf tour number five. Uh, right there. Just cleaned it out. And the nice thing about bookshelf tours is you get to dust it out. So this, I believe, is entirely Folio Society. So my German Shepherd puppy is next to me looking at me like, who are you talking to? <laughs> I'm talking to you. So um, I'm just going to get into them because there's a lot on that shelf. Um, so I'm going to start here. William Dampier. A sailor. And this cover reflects that. Right here. You see that? Then we have some voyages, some charts here. So the middle part of America. And then the East Indies. Let me see here. So again, this is the Folio Society. Um, so edited with an introduction by um, Gerald Norris. Uh, this is William Dampier, um, Buccaneer Explorer. And then here it says, Pirate and Hydrographer. So a scientific bend, right? Um, beautifully done. Here's a Yucatan. I've sailed all around here. And actually explored on foot in some parts. Uh, here, what else we have here? Here he is. This is a picture of some Vietnamese. So very nice. Good volume. A high quality production job, which is what you often get with um, Folio Society. This next one, even the box has the ships on it now the uh, slipcase and then look at this just gorgeous um, has that old folio feel to it this is memoirs of a seafaring life the narrative of William Spavins pensioner on the naval chess at Chatham um, edited and introduced by N.A.M. Roger who is one of the preeminent uh, maritime history historians in the world um, so amply illustrated from this uh, gentleman's adventures. Two Marines on the palace's gangway. Yeah. <laughs> it's something. So again, a beautiful volume. And in that case, a slipcover. I really like that. So next here we have Trafalgar. Again, another gorgeous cover. Let me see if I get that lined up for you. And papers, Europe and the Mediterranean uh, and the Caribbean in 1805. Uh, same thing on the back. This is an eyewitness history, introduced, uh, uh, edited and introduced by Tom Pocock, who uh, I have other books by him. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? This is 2005, Folio Society. Um, maps and plans drawn by Reginald Peugeot. Uh, I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong. It's actually one of those names I've run into occasionally that I seem to have an issue with. Not the name itself, just my pronunciation. I can do that sometimes. So... Just beautifully illustrated, um, and a nice resource. I have a whole shelf of books on Trafalgar, and uh, seems to be a never-ending supply of them. This next one is one of my favorites. Another one with a... I'm going through these fairly quick. I've got piles of them here, so I'm going to have to. This um, is Admiral Lord Cochrane, Benoit's of a Fighting Man. This, I absolutely love this book. Um, I have several biographies of Cochrane. Of course, uh, this is introduced by uh, Brian Vales, 2005 also. Admiral of the Red, Rear Admiral of the Fleet. He's was an amazing um, fighting captain. He 
his exploits became the basis of everything from Horatio. Here he is in old age. Horatio Hornblower, the Aubrey Mattering characters of Captain Aubrey, uh, Captain Kirk from Star Trek. This is the guy they base him on. Not entirely, but he's the inspiration. So um, that was a wonderful read. Uh, again, there's been many, uh, many biographies of Lord Cochrane. Here is a book of Traveler's Tales by Eric Newby, one of my favorite writers. We have another book of his coming up here in a few. This is one he edited. And it's just what it says it is. It's, a, it's Traveler's Tales. Uh, nice size in the hand here. Um, there's Mr. Newby. Uh, this is for Society 2005. Again, I seem to have a theme going here. Um, oh. Oh, yeah, that was a pretty interesting picture. So this is just a collection of traveler's tales. It's a little heavy, uh, which is fine. Nicely illustrated. It, it sounds like the dog's out there hitting the water there. Let's see who we have in here. Just, I'll just r randomly go through a few. Uh, well, he does it by area, so it's Africa, Europe. Great Britain and Ireland, uh, Near Asia, Middle Asia, Far Asia, North America, Central and South America, Australia, New Zealand, Arctic and Antarctic. Um, so he starts right off with Samuel Johnson. Um, sometimes there's short little things like this. So, great book to dip in and out of, which is all I've ever done with it. I haven't read it straight through. I'm not sure I ever will, but... Did enjoy what I've read. This is Matthew Lyons, Impossible Journeys. Again, Folio Society. That dog couldn't pick a better time to do that, could he? <laughs> he's, he's a handful. Um, here is the title page, which I really like. Um, so... Uh, Let's see, we have the Walker's Tale, an invention of travel. Thomas Car uh, Coriat walks from Oldcombe to India. The Mapmaker's Tales, cartographic chaos in the South Pacific. The Friar's Tale, Friar Oderick seduces the Great Khan with an apple. The Drunkard's Tale, the Elephants of Maine and other American visions. The Cannibal's Tale, desperate recipes on the coast of Newfoundland. The Apprentice Tales, absurd advice offered to English merchants on their way to Muscovy. And it goes on and on and on. Illustrate it. All right, bud, you need to go lay down. There you go. Go lay down. There you go, buddy. Then we got one without a... Um, slipcase and it's a little wonky but I grabbed it anyway just because of what it is Mungo Park travels to the in, in the interior of Africa Folio Society, a little worn here's the uh, end papers in the Sahara Desert up here uh, let's see there's Mungo Park here so this came out in 1984. So it's been through a little bit of where this was originally published in uh, 1799, and the text is taken from the 1860 edition. An important book, like I say, not maybe as in great a shape as I would have liked for most of mine. Um, so the Big Traveler's book, that was Eric Newby. This is Eric Newby, The Last Grain Race. I'd have to put him up in my top travel writers I've ever read. And this would be in one of the best books I've ever read. This is a young man. Oh, here's the end papers. So he, do, he does. He goes on a sailing ship all the way from um, Great Britain uh, to Australia. And then back. And when he does it, it's right when World War II breaks out. He's a very young man. Um... 
This is an adventure story in the last of the tall ships um, that were used for hauling grain. Um, he, it was a tough, tough school, tough, tough school, but he's a tough young guy and he, he did quite well. But uh, it's quite, quite a magnificent book. It's a book I actually love. And speaking of travel writers and travel books, and, and we're going to have him show up in another book too. This is uh, Patrick Lee for more. A Time of Gifts, for the Society, of course. This is part of his trilogy. Um, the third one was finished, I, be, I think, by the Coopers. Um, he hadn't finished it when he died. So, on foot uh, to Constantinople from the Hook of Holland to the middle of the Danube. And as a young man, he left school um, and... Uh, just walked. Very educated, um, very bookish guy, but an adventurer. Uh, this one's illustrated. Another, another great troll. It's he, Patrick Lee Vermore is is just an amazing writer, or was. He passed away a few years ago. Here's one I haven't read, and I can't. I I picked these up used, so I I can't remember. I never got to it. I don't know why. Uh, this is In Search of England, H. Uh, H. V. Morton. I have seen it referenced other places, but I have not read it. Okay, and here's a wonderful map of England. Um, I, I, my understanding is a very well-known book. This is 2002, Folio Society, introduced by Simon Jenkins with illustrations by Peter Bailey. So I will have to get to this. Um, what is that grim picture? And uh, what, what did they say was its original publication? 1927 was when it originally came out. So I have to give it a try. If anybody's read it, let me know. You'll see that occasionally. I just grabbed these because they were available. They're, they're not always easy for me to find. So I have not read everything. Um, this one here, Mission to Tashkent. I like the color. I like the color. Same on the back. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel F.M. Bailey. Um, the, the gold medalist of the Royal uh, Geographical Society. Livingston gold medalist of the Royal Scottish Geographical Society. Introduce and epilogue by Peter Hopkirk. This is from 1999 for the Folio Society. Let's see if we can find the original date. 1946. Um, so this is in uh, like Iran and all that. There he is um, in a Serb uniform. So I have not read this one. This one actually would be one I want to get to pretty quick. Um, He's disguised here as an Austrian soldier, so he seems to want to get shot. <laughs> uh, I grabbed this one very happily. I, I know a little bit about it, but not all. This one is actually one I used for, what is it, Victober? Quite a, quite a number of years ago now. This is already running long. This is a problem with these shelves. This is um, William Russell, Special Correspondent of the Times. Uh, just beautiful cover. Fascinating book. Um, a, and, and fascinating. Uh, here he is in the Crimean, a picture of him in the Crimean War. Introduced by Max Hastings and then edited by Roger Hudson. This is the Foley Society 1995. I really enjoyed this. Uh, learned a lot. Um, here he is. Here's Jefferson Davis. So our our foreign correspondent and war correspondent got along, got around Abraham Lincoln, so I found this to be quite quite interest, uh, interesting, um, sort of a little snapshot of the times. So, but that that was a Victober choice. I don't usually do well with Victober. I think yeah, whatever. I've read. The Warden by Anthony Trollope was another thing. And I never went back to Trollope, and I should have because I enjoyed it. So this one where I mentioned Patrick Lee for more earlier, he shows up here. This is a fantastic 
Ill Met by Moonlight. Fantastic book. Just a great read by W. Stanley Moss. Uh, introduction by M.R.D. Foote. Prologue and Epilogue by Ian Moncrief. And afterward by Patrick Lee for more, who everybody called Patty. Um, and this is the story on... Um, I don't have a, a map here, but on Crete. And these are a bunch of Brits and then some freedom fighters. And they, uh, they capture a Nazi general. Here's the general, a little forlorn up in the hills. And it's how they get him off of Crete, how they captured him. Uh, just like something out of a movie. Um, and uh, just a wonderful, brilliant, brilliant book. Uh, it's pretty easy to find, I would think. This thing has probably gone through a ton of printings. But this is a nice copy, and I, I really love this. I think I first read it in a little paperback. This Ordeal by Fire. This is going to be a little strange one, this here. The, the book's not strange, the production's a little strange. Pretty cool, a little off-putting at first. Here's one of those sapia tone pictures that one of my friends likes so much. And this is Lynn McDonald's Ordeal by Fire, Witnesses to the Great War, London, the Folio Society. So we're talking World War I. But this is what's so strange. Look at the color of the paper. Yes, it's green. <laughs> just, just threw me. Uh, and then these pictures. So, you know, year by year. Very cool. Um, but a little a little different. See, it's like this all the way. The whole thing. I, who designed the book, do they say? So it's 2001, London the Folio Society. It's first published in 1988 uh, from Penguin Books. And let's see... It doesn't say who designed it. It says who the copyright is. Um, well, I'm sure you can find out, but it does throw you a little bit. I mean, it's readable. The prints, you can see the, the print just fine. So now I'm, I'm really trying to pick up here because this, this is going, taking too long. This is the best of the tours, other than Jack. And this... I love this cover. Let's see if I can get it there for you. You probably recognize a few of these people. Selected by Sheridan Morley and Tim Hell. Uh, prefaced by uh, Sheridan Morley and illustrations by John Lawrence. Folio Society 2000. These are some, you know, little stories. Sailing to America, Charles Dixon, uh, Dickens. Uh, a Deception, Mark Twain. The Ethics of Art in Leadville, uh, Oscar Wilde. Oh, the, the list of names goes on and on. So, uh, Woody Allen, um, J.B. Priestley. So, The Educating the Mitford Girls. Yeah, all these little things are just little stories. They get these little illustrations. They have... Nice little thing to dip in and out of. Nothing that I have ever read straight through. I would think that would be a bit much. A few of these are going to be like that. A great fun. This next one here, a similar thing. The best after dinner stories. There you go. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, again, uh, this is selected by Tim Held and illustrations by Paul Cox, and this is 2003. Um, so, you got Samuel Johnson, William Shakespeare, Thackeray, uh, G.K. Chesterton, uh, Charles Dickens a couple times, Mark Twain again, Winston Churchill, Stanley Baldwin a couple times, uh, by, by Evelyn Waugh. Lord Beaverbrook, Robertson Davies. Nice illustrations. Let's 
So, again, something I did. Some people may like to read them straight through. I have. I, I, it'd be too much for me. I just read the section here and there. And then this one's another one without the slipcase. So you can tell I buy them used. Um, this is uh, the folio books of humorous anecdotes. Again, one that I don't read straight through. I'll pick it up when I'm sitting in the chair. It's right by my chair there. And dip into them. This is introduced by Edward Leeson. Um, drawings by Nick Hardcastle. And this is folio 2005. Um... Nice little pictures there. So I started to look for the slipcase. I don't have one. Then this um, we're doing uh, Faith in Books um, invited me to co-host with her, and it was her idea to do the Hornblower books um, one a month. And we just finished the first one, which is Mr. Midshipman Hornblower. I've got Hornblower in all sorts of editions. This I just happened to buy the first uh, Folio Society box set. Now I sort of wish I'd gotten the other ones. So we read this month, and I'll end up doing a bit of a recap. Um, this is Mr. Midshipman Hornblower, which I love. It's a series of interconnected shorter pieces, uh, and then with a few added. Um, this is Folio Society 2018, introduced by Bernard Cornwell, who, the, the famous writer of the Sharp novels and uh, Saxon Tales and all that, uh, who does a wonderful job and writes different different uh, introductions to each of these. So, love the end papers, the waves. So, uh, just a wonderful book. So, um, it had Mr. Mitchell and Hornblower. Then it added Hornblower and the Hand of Destiny and Hornblower and the Big Decision. So, I'll get into those, um, like I say, at the end of the, well, probably this coming weekend. I think that's when we've all agreed to do it. So, jump in and join us uh, if you can. These are really fairly quick reads, quite enjoyable. Maybe not so in-depth as the Aubrey Matterin in some details. Um, but very, very enjoyable. And this is Short Stories from the Strand. Again, a collection of short pieces, so I have not read it straight through, but... Yeah, my Amazon thing's talking to me from in the kitchen. This is a weird house sometimes. There you go. So, um... Selected by Geraldine Baer, introduced by Frank Delaney, and illustration by David Eccles, uh, Folio Society, 1992. So, example with this would be, I'm sitting in the chair there the other day, and realized I'd never, I was I had watched Steve Donahue's channel, I think, and he was talking about P.G. Woodhouse, an omnibus or something. I go, I'm, I still haven't read P.G. Woodhouse, so I picked it up and I read Birdie Changes His Mind, P.G. Woodhouse, uh, 1922. Enjoyed it very much, but I, I it, it's fun when I haven't done something I can pick up. Uh, they have a couple of his in here, Honeysuckle Cottage. Maybe I'll read that next. So they have H.G. Wells, um, Rudyard Kipling, uh, Jerome K. Jerome, um, Arthur Conan, uh, Conan Doyle, uh, O. Henry. So just a nice little, um, uh, so here's Honeysuckle Cottage. I just had an open there. Let me see if there's... So, from the Strand Magazine. One more to go. This has been a long video, I apologize. And then the last one here is one of my favorite books of all time. Again, this is Erskine Childers, The Riddle of Sands, about a sailboat, about the Kaiser, about uh, espionage, and the chase. Here's a uh, general map uh, to illustrate the cruise of the Dulcibella. Uh, Michael York was in a wonderful um, film version of this, but I haven't seen it in 30 years. But um, Just fantastic stories. One of the classics of the sea, for sure. Especially of yachting. Um, Reread it a couple years ago on my channel. So, uh, one I would highly recommend. Erskine Childers was actually executed by the British. Um, he was an Irish fellow. So, that's it. A lot of Folio Society. Now i got to try to get them back on the shelf in some sort of order. <laughs> so 
I will follow up with another shelf, um, film them both probably today, and then release them on different days. Hope everyone's doing well. Thank you, BookTube.